everyone and welcome to my channel um, if you like this video and uh, you want to see more things like this and reviews on makeup and I do hair reviews also please subscribe to my channel and like this video give it a thumbs up thanks so uh, today I want to try out I was looking for drugstore affordable foundation for aging skin mature skin like mine and I came across this covergirl Olay Simply Ageless Foundation. Now it comes in liquid and it comes in a cream foundation as well. It also comes with a, a primer. So I want to do first time impression, first time review. Obviously I can only do one a day, but I want to go through the day, see how it works for me while I'm at work. Um, see if it does actually help with my wrinkles because the liquid foundation it says covergirl meets Olay science with a product that instantly reduces wrinkles even skin tone and delivers firming hydration with the simply ages 3-in-1 foundation it, and again improves tone delivers firming moisturizer and lessens wrinkles now will it work I don't know I mean I love the packaging. It's so lightweight. Um, I just look. You could see the uh, the lotion between the foundation. Now every morning I put on lotion. So do I need another lotion in my foundation for my wrinkles? Probably not. But um, I mean, I like to try this anyway. Why not? It'll just be double foundation, right? Can't be a bad thing. So first, I'm going to go in with primer. It's also cute packaging, nice coloring. Okay. It's very thick. I don't need that much actually. I'm just going to put in my T-zone area here. See how well it covers. Oh, actually covers pretty well. So far. You can see compared to the other side of my face, looks pretty nice actually. Don't mind my hair. Uh, got out of the shower and I always like to do my makeup before I do my hair and then it's out of my face and when it's in this I don't have hair in my way I don't have to put my hair back or anything it just it's already back for me okay so I'm say that I do like the way it looks I feel like it's covering my skin pretty well So, I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup, and then um, you'll see me in my reviews, and I'll come back and let you know how I liked it, if it made me feel greasy or anything, I don't. I actually really like matte foundation, and this, surprisingly, I didn't think it would be very matte, but it, it seems to be pretty matte. I don't know if you can see, but it feels good, it feels lightweight, and uh, is it covering my wrinkles? I don't know about that. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Um, okay, I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. Hi guys, so I, I put the rest of my makeup on and I have to say I think it looks good with this foundation. I don't know if, what you think, but it feels good. I think my skin looks good and so far I really like it. So let's see how the rest of the day goes because I do tend to get shiny but I'll blot it most likely at least once in the afternoon and then we'll see when I get home from work how it looks, okay? Hi guys, so to 
today I'm going to try the CoverGirl Simply Ageless, Ageless, I keep saying that, Simply Ageless Foundation. I tried the uh, liquid one and now I'm going to try this one and I have to tell you, I just sat here, it's the first time I'm opening it and I had no idea how to open this. I was like, oh, I didn't know this came with a thing. And I couldn't figure out how to, there was no, but you just have to twist the top and it comes off. So let's try this. It says it's supposed to float over wrinkles. That's always exciting instead of accentuating them. So let's see how well that works. And I'll start off uh, putting this on and I'll go throughout the day, see how it works throughout the day, and then I'll come back after work and show you how it lasted. It's pretty, I like the packaging, it's pretty. I'm going to start off with the Simply Ageless Primer for my face. Now again, I've said in other videos that I do have maturing skin. I mean, I'm 47, so I'm not like, in 10 years it's going to get worse. But my worst part, I would say for me, is my droopity dogs, hate that, hate this, and my eyelids. And I, again, I know they're only gonna get worse, so I guess I should appreciate what I have now, right? So, there's the primer. Put that on. My teeth on the area, not too much, but enough. Okay, so I'll take my brush. You know, let's try it with the sponge it came with first, why not? I mean, I don't like these things because after the first or second try, they're filthy. So do I want to keep putting that on my face? No. But we'll try it for the first time. skin you should go a little shade darker or else you look a little too pasty. Um, I mean I don't know it's kind of matching my skin but now that I'm looking up close though I don't know if it's me I feel like the same thing happened with the other with the um the lotion it, I feel like it's accentuating my pores I don't want that but I just rub it in a little more. I don't, I don't like to use the sponges. It's not bad, but I just prefer a brush. So maybe if I just kind of push it in, work it into my skin. I mean, it gave me a nice um, finish. So in there, let's see. I don't know if you can tell. You see my pores. I just feel like it's, it does accentuate my pores. That other foundations don't. It gives it a nice finish, but I don't know. I see that, but okay. We'll see how it goes, and um, apply the rest of my makeup. Okay, so I applied the rest of my makeup, and um, I'll see how the day goes. I think it looks. Okay, it looks very natural. It doesn't look cakey. For some reason though, I do feel like it's accentuating my pores. Uh, but, I don't know, like I do, I really see that a lot and it's bothering me. The coloring I like, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's supposed to be about wrinkles. I see my wrinkles. And I actually feel like I see them more with this foundation, which is, because it's supposed to do the exact opposite. So, 
Let's see how the day goes and I will uh, give you an update later as the day goes on. Let's see how well it acts to. Hey guys, so it's the end of the day and um, it's really late. It's like 9 o'clock, so later than I would normally get home. So it's been a long day with this makeup on. And um, I have to say, I didn't look bad. I just I did feel like all day that I was looking at my skin that it was. Um, I saw my pores. It, it accentuated my pores. And um, I mean, I was the usual shine. I did blot a lot with the papers a few times during the day. So I don't know. It's not my favorite foundation for sure. It it looked good going on, and it looked okay with makeup on, but. I don't know, it wasn't my favorite. Um, I mean, will I use it again? Maybe I'll use it again. But it's definitely not my uh, favorite foundation. Uh, I mean, obviously at the end of the day, I'm going to be greasy and shiny, so that's expected with any foundation. But again, throughout the day, I just, I really just felt like it was showing all my textures in my, in my skin and my face. So, um, hopefully this helped you decide if you're going to buy this or not. Um, I don't hate it, hate it, but I don't love it, so I probably won't be using it often. And that's my review, and I hope you enjoyed this video, hope you found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, please. Thanks.